My name is Zawadi. I live in a village in Uganda. This is my story. When we found out I was expecting, my husband Peter and I were excited, but we were also scared. Here, many women die in childbirth. Peter is worried that he will lose me, and I am worried too about my baby. It is night when my labor starts. The pain is in my back. But I know that we don't have the money for transportation. Usually, I borrow Peter's bicycle when I need to go into town, but his bike is broken. In the morning, I am in a lot of pain and must go to the clinic. I cannot wait any longer. Peter walks to our neighbor's house to borrow enough money so we can get a ride. I try to breathe through the pain. When Peter returns, we walk to the main road and wait for a border border. Climbing on is difficult. Peter squeezes on with me. Over the rough roads, I am in more pain. It takes more than an hour to get to the clinic. When I arrive, the nurse gives me medicine to increase my contractions. The nurse examines me again and says that the baby is not coming and that I need to go to a hospital. They do not have the equipment or training to help me. If I stay here, most likely my baby and I will not survive. They tell me to go to Nyachibale Hospital because I am in so much pain. An ambulance will pick me up. Peter is worried we will have to pay for the ambulance. We have already borrowed money, and even if we sell our two goats, it will not be enough. It is a very difficult place to be in when you are trying to survive. When the ambulance comes, they tell us we will not have to pay for the ride. We are relieved. At Nyachibale, the nurses check us in, and they tell me I will need an emergency C-section. I am scared to have an operation. No one in my community has had an operation like this. We have to wait because there is another mother in the operating room. There is only one room here, but I am glad to see the lights work and the nurses are kind to me. They explain what the operation will be like and tell us that people from African Mission Healthcare are going to pay for my C-section. Peter and I are so grateful. We can hardly believe it is true. I am wheeled into the operating room and the doctor smiles at me. I try not to be nervous. They give me medicine and I am grateful that they have enough to give me. In Uganda, sometimes hospitals don't have medicine or electricity. There is a team waiting to help and they have the equipment and the tools they need. The operation goes well. I am so excited to see my baby. She is a girl, and we name her Miriam. They told us before, but when it happens, we cannot believe the good news when we are discharged, and that our bills have really been paid for by people from African Mission Healthcare. Peter and I will work in the fields to pay off the little bit of debt used to pay for food and the border border ride. But the nurse's news sinks in. I am alive. My baby is alive. Peter and I want to say thank you to the people like you who support the SAFE program and make it possible for families like ours to be together. We are so grateful. I am so thankful to be a mom and hold Miriam in my arms because of you.